Teenager Michael Boggan's life was shattered when a homemade bomb exploded in his hands last year. His treatment since has been intensive, but Michael's physical injuries are only the start of his problems. It hurts like hell. Oh, I tried to stay happy, but it's deep inside, sad. I try to keep myself happy so I don't cry, but otherwise I would. At just 16 years old, the road ahead through Michael Boggan's eyes is bleak and daunting. Basically, I've got the whole life ahead of me and I've only got one hand. Robbed of his carefree teenage years, Michael has been left permanently disfigured. His life changed in an instant on the fateful day a group of teenagers gave him what looked to be just a normal golf ball. All week they've been reliving their nightmare as bomb after bomb exploded in the now infamous Ipswich bomb house. It exploded in my hand. I didn't know that um, it was a bomb. A lethal and sophisticated homemade bomb found by the teenage boys he was playing with. They discovered the device around the corner from Michael's home, where police found and detonated 18 explosives. Two men are accused of making the bomb. They're charged with grievous bodily harm over Michael's horrific injuries. It's been quite devastating because I have to come to terms with the fact that He's not happy. Rebecca Boggan is Michael's mother and now full-time carer. He's very erratic, emotional since this has happened. Michael's injuries are confronting and he's covered in shrapnel wounds. Most of his palm was blown away by the bomb um, and he's missing most of the bones. One year since the explosion, life for the Boggans only gets harder with weekly hospital visits and a lifetime of mounting bills. Michael has been approved for the Queensland Government's Victims of Crime Assistance, the maximum payout of $75,000, most of which will go towards his medical bills. While grateful for any assistance, his devastated mum says that's not nearly enough to cover his future loss of income. I haven't had any representation from any uh, victims groups or law society or bar association to the extent that these, the, you know, the, the laws are not adequate. Queensland Attorney General Jared Blay says the state has the highest financial assistance scheme for victims of crime in the country, but Michael's family still believe it's not enough. Do you think? this not worth more than four, than $75,000. All the stuff I dreamed about, basically, you know, half the stuff I can't do no more. Can any amount of money replace what you've lost? No. No. Never. A lot of the teenager's time is spent in rehabilitation. Today, he's going into occupational therapy in Brisbane, one of his many regular medical appointments. They do all the exercises, like with his little finger, they'll unbandage it all, they'll give it a wash down. You only have to wear it for like five, ten minutes at a time for like maybe three to four times a day, the doctor said. On top of his injuries, Michael also has autism and battles depression and anxiety from the terrifying ordeal. His future dreams have been ruined and his goal of becoming a builder and owning his own business is now shattered. If I just thought about it for a second, I'd break down for a week or two, I wouldn't eat. Rebecca Boggan fears they'll struggle financially for the rest of their lives. She's been forced to quit her job and go on welfare to care for her son. Bathing, showering, um, help with dressing if they need it, um, dressing changes. As a secondary victim, Rebecca receives $10,000 in compensation from the government, plus the maximum handout given to Michael, which he has to prove goes towards ongoing medical costs. Together, in total, that's $85,000 for life. That money wouldn't even pay for another prosthetic, you know, um, in 10 years' time when he has to have another one. 
It angers the mum so much she has started an online petition addressed to the Attorney General. So far, it has 22,000 signatures supporting an increase in compensation. Something needs to be done because $75,000 as a maximum payout is still not enough. Not when a child has to support himself for the rest of his life. Compared to the other jurisdiction, it stacks up fairly well. If there's more we can do, uh, then really we've got to get the stakeholders, the Law Society, the Bar Association uh, to raise it as an issue. If he is listening, if he's thinking about it, how would he feel if this was his child or his family? It's a terrible injury and Michael's family intends to present the petition to the Queensland Government. If you'd like to support them, the link is on our website.